have a new van. And that's the new one. This is our old one, and it is for sale, so stay tuned for some details. I'm staying on the path that I've chosen straight up. Come my way, and I'll see you at the top. Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Cherie, and we have been full-time nomads for going on nearly 15 years, and currently we split our time between a motorhome, a boat, and a camper van. <laughs> so we've got our new van, and we're going to be doing a much more detailed video talking about all the cool things about the new van and why we switched and upgraded to a new van. But right now we want to just turn out this video really quickly about our old van, because it is for sale, and maybe one of you would like to buy it. It's ready for new adventures. So this is a 2016 Winnebago Travato 59G model. We purchased this in May 2019. We are the second owners. It has never been smoked in, but of course, as all of our longtime fans know, we are owned by a cat. So there has been a cat in the van. We have traveled part-time in it for the last year and a half, and we loved it so much. Our new van is actually just a newer model of the same thing. Um, so, let's give you a quick tour of the van itself. Yeah. So, what we love about this layout is that you actually have two separate living areas. This front area, the living area is a couch, an ottoman, and the two front seats turn and spin around, giving you seating for five. And the table, spins out to give you extra space. Great for hosting friends, game night, and for us working remotely. We use this as our office setup when we're traveling in the van. The bed in the rear is a Murphy bed, so it folds up so that you can have lots of cargo storage if you're transporting bikes, kayaks, or other sorts of things. We use it for daily drivers, so groceries and any other things that we need to move between our vessels. And the bed comes down. It's got the Froley sleep system, so this kind of mimics uh, bed springs. It's got a nice cushion, and then we use a two inch latex foam topper that comes with the van. Um, and this is about a double size bed. Uh, very comfortable for one person and comfortable for two people as long as you like to snuggle. So do keep that in mind. Uh, not going to be ideal for people that need lots of sleep space if they sleep together in the same bed. One of the things we love about this layout is just how big and practical the bathroom is. It's a you know, full-size room. It's a, a wet bath with a shower and everything. And it seals off. Or... Um, so, great workable layout, an amazing amount of capacity in a, such a small van. Okay, the kitchen here has got a sink with a flip-up faucet. You find it kind of annoying, but functional. Um, propane stove, and then a very large, particularly for the size of a van, a large propane three-way um, fridge here. Um, a lot of space, and a microwave. and. We turned the clothes closet into a big pantry with shelves. And you could put the, the hanging bar back in if you really wanted to. So some of the upgrades that we've done to this van is we replaced the head unit with a JVC, which has Apple CarPlay. It also allows you to use the full onboard diagnostics, including tapping fully into the tire pressure monitoring system so you can see the current tire pressures. Uh, it's a great upgrade. We really, really enjoy that. Otherwise, it is still uh, connects in with the backup camera so you've got that feature as well. We also changed out the swing arm on the television uh, so it's a much better positioning for viewing both from the front of the cab. You can bring the screen down to level that you can get it pretty well workable for working remotely. We typically traveled with a computer monitor here but we are including with it the Jensen TV screen that is actually being shipped now with the newer models of uh, Travados. And then this swing arm can also come around so you can watch television from bed. So those are not features that come standard in the Travado G model. 
We also added a inverter to the van because in 2016 they did not include that. It does have two AGM batteries that you can run off the coach systems on. And we installed a small 300 watt pure sine wave inverter right here for easy access, which allows you to uh, run computers and anything else that you might need to do when you are not plugged into shore power. Other options that this van came with from the factory is it's got the sliding screen door and the rear screen door as well. It has a 100 watt solar panel on the roof and it's got the matched paint on the front so that it uh, matches the granite coloring of the van. Now this is a 2016 so of course it has all the normal wear and tear that you would have from traveling in it including traveling with a cat so some of the uh, cushions do have some claw marks in it and some of the veneer is peeling on the cabinets all minor cosmetic things uh, the door does fall off the track occasionally in the bathroom a little bit of packing tape fixes that um, and one of the downsides of this particular van and also what we consider one of the design flaws of the Travato is the generator that they use is uh, requires monthly maintenance. You actually have to run it for a good 30 minutes to an hour every single month in order to keep it maintained. Well, the owner who had it beforehand never ran the generator. So we have never been able to use a generator on this unit. Uh, we don't normally use generators anyway, so it's not been a problem for us. We did not think it worth the effort or cost to have the carburetor rebuilt to get it back in service. Uh, that was quoted to us by Cummins to be $1,600 to fix because then we would have to maintain it every month when we don't honestly use it. So if you want a working generator, you will need to get that fixed um, afterwards. And uh, we are giving a credit with a full price offer on the van to account for that. So we had taken the television antenna that came off the van off because we don't watch antenna television and uh, we test internet gear. So this hole here is where a King Jack antenna would mount. And you can just get another one. They're pretty cheap at an RV shop and place it on and clamp it onto the roof and hook up an antenna again or install what other, whatever other on-roof stuff you want or just cover this hole up with a light. We're going to leave that up to the next owner. So if you are interested in taking this van on a new adventure or know someone who is, you can get a lot more details at technomadia.com slash Travato for the for sale page of this. We also have a lot of videos of our time with this van, lots of tours, We've even gone in depth on the design flaws. Uh, we're very transparent about things on this van, but we loved it so much. We actually got a 20, 20.5 Travato GL to replace it and upgrade to. So in general, we love this van and this layout and it has been a perfect shuttlecraft and adventurer for us for the past year and a half. And we are excited to meet whoever is the next owner of it.